Hello viewers and welcome, this is your host Mohamed Arifin and in this video I'm going to talk about biosignals. A lot of people have asked me the same set of questions over the past couple of months, like what are biosignals or why and how do you use it and what kind of biosignals have you used for your project. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, what are biosignals? Biosignals are physiological signals emitted by biological beings which can be measured through electrical probes. In easier words, biosignals are teeny tiny electrical signals emitted by our body when we flex our muscles, move our eyes, or even when we think or sleep. So we, as human beings, produce thousands of biosignals every second. You can use special kind of amplifiers called instrumentation amplifiers to amplify the signals and use it for human-computer interaction. The most common biosignals are electroencephalogram signals or EEG signals, electrocardiogram signals, that's your heart signals, electromyogram signals, that's your muscle flex and movement signals, and electrocholography, which is your eye signals when you move your eye left to right or move it around or up and down, etc. So I'm sure you have seen these signals around maybe in a hospital when the doctor puts probes in a, in a patient's chest and you can see the heart signal that is electrocardiogram signal. In the next couple of slides, we're going to talk more about these signals. We are not going to dive deep into the details, we're just going to cover the very basics in this video. First, we're going to talk about EEG signals. So what are EEG signals? EEG signals are electrical signals produced along your scalp. When we think, our brain sends ionic currents within the neurons and with the help of electrical probes, we can measure the potential difference and use it to detect brain activities. The signal in the figure was captured during our data collection for focusing and defocusing. If you pay attention, you can actually see in the left-hand side the amplitude is larger when your eyes are closed versus the right-hand side where the amplitude is much smaller when your eyes are open. So you can clearly see the distinction between open eyes and closed eyes. Now you can run the data through a machine learning algorithm to classify these two states. Now let's talk a little bit about EMG signals. Electromyogram or EMG signals are electrical potentials produced by our skeletal muscles like our bicep, tricep, or forearm muscles. When we flex these muscles, or a muscle contraction happens, there are sudden increase in amplitude of the signals which can be collected and classified. We can even measure muscle fatigues through EMG signals. When our muscles get fatigued, the amplitudes of the signals get even larger which could be identified and collected. In the figure, the spikes are EMG signals every time you grind your teeth. Now a little about EOG signals. Electroocularography signals or EOG signals are produced by our eye movements. When we move our eyes, the retina and cornea creates an electrical dipole which emits electrical signals. These signals can be measured using electrical probes and used for human-computer interaction. So people have asked me, what kind of biosignals have you used for your project and what do they do? For this project, we collected EOG and EEG signals from human eye movements and brain activities to use them to interact with your mobile device. You would be able to control your Android phone, a tablet, or play games on your device just by moving your eyes or thinking about it. You can also collect raw biosignals using our Arduino shields and explore machine learning. Thank you for watching the video and if you find it useful, please rate it up and subscribe to our channel. More video tutorials can be found at Optivity.net. I will put the links in the video description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. I will try to answer all your questions as soon as possible. Again, thank you for watching and have a great one.